grip your gear. Have no fear. Auto expert. Barry Wilson is here. And folks, to prove that even an idiot like me can jumpstart a car, <laughs> Barry Wilson uh, here from Wilson Auto Repair in Garland and his daughter, Lori. Why, why aren't you in school today, Lori? I am. I'm going uh, later. <laughs> All right, I'll write, I'll write you a note. <laughs> this is to like prove... that'll do any good. This is to prove you can be late to school and still jump to start your car. Well, that's and get what there you on can... time. Yeah, you go to... It's, I had a dead battery. My dad had a dead battery. We had to jump... I had to jump start it for him. It's on that? television yeah. to prove it. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> we're talking about, uh, which is a big problem in the heat of the summer and, of course, the winter, but we're talking about today about how to jump start your car. If you go out and your, dad, your battery's dead, and you want to jump start it, of course, the first thing you have to do is have a good set of jumper cables, and that's real important. You don't yeah. want to go buy the cheapest set you can buy. You want to buy a real good set because that makes a big difference in letting it start properly. So what you do, and I've already hooked it up to the pickup over here, but you have two terminals on your battery. You have a, a positive or a plus or a, a negative here and the minus, and I've kind of highlighted them here. And the main thing is to be sure that if you hook a red one to this positive here, you hook the red one to the positive on the car. That's the only trick in doing this and doing it properly. So, Lori, why don't you hook that up, and then I'm going to... And we're going to stand back, Lori. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you can get some sparking when that when you we make brought that her connection. So, that's right. You can get some sparking, and don't let that bother you. Right. If it gets sparking to the point where something's real hot, then you've got a short and you want to disconnect yeah. it. That'd be the first thing you'd do. Then you'd step over and start your vehicle. Now, assuming this was the battery in the car that you were trying to start, you may go around and turn the key and nothing happens. So the next thing you'd want to do is wiggle the connections on both cars because right. a lot of times they don't make a good connection. So, Lori, if you'll just wiggle those, and you can kind of see all you have to do is just wiggle them back and forth. Then say it doesn't start again. The next thing I would recommend to do is to let it sit for probably 15 minutes hooked up with the car running. So it's actually using the other car to charge, to charge the, the battery okay. back up. Right. Yeah. Now you mentioned before we came on that there is water in these batteries, and it used to be something that people would check. We still check it in our garage, but it's extremely dangerous. A battery can blow up on you when you jump start it because the fumes that come out of there will catch on fire. I don't recommend checking the water. I think it would be better for you to take it in and have it done, but it is something that can be done. Lots of batteries are not maintenance free. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to that say my battery went dead. Gee, I thought it was maintenance free. Right. You just kind of assume that nowadays, but they do require distilled water in just there. Just need yeah. water in them. Now, the other thing about this is, is that with the computers on cars nowadays, right. and I had this happen in my shop this week, when the battery goes completely dead, a lot of things are going to go wrong with the way your car runs. Your transmission may not shift right. I've got in uh, vans before and the windshield wipers are flashing sure. back and you can't shut them off. Uh, the theft alarm system is going to go nuts and it won't start. There's all kinds of instructions inside your owner's manual that will tell you how to do that and do it properly so your car will start. Okay. Great advice. Thanks very much. I'll write your